Hello, good evening. I'm Caroline Richardson with the News in the South. Four people on an Isle of Wight ferry were taken to hospital last night after the upper car deck of the ship collapsed. The mezzanine floor, which was holding nine cars, was being lowered when it dropped about six feet onto the deck below. Three people in their cars and a crew member on the upper deck suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Emergency crews rushed to Fishbourne ferry terminal just before half past ten last night. The St Helen had just docked and the cars were being unloaded. You can just make out in the footage here that the car deck is tilting down into the bottom right corner. It had dropped six feet. Fortunately, there were no cars or people underneath. Clearly, the first thing we had to do was to establish what injuries there were. Uh, and uh, it took uh, probably a, a, about an hour to get all of the other cars off of the car deck. And uh, we did that by lowering the aft end of the deck and reversing the cars off and taking them off the section of the deck that hadn't fallen and um, all of the cars were taken off uh, and uh, the vessel was brought back to Portsmouth last night. Three passengers and one crew member were taken to St Mary's Hospital on the Isle of Wight but all have now been allowed to go home. Engineers and safety officers were out early this morning checking the movable mezzanine decks on the whole fleet to make sure they were all in working order. White Link is confident that it's an isolated incident and won't happen again. White Link ferries complete 50,000 crossings a year. The vessels are 30 years old and coming to the end of their operational life. The St Helen was withdrawn from service and brought back to Portsmouth last night. The incident is now being investigated by the Marine Accident Investigation Branch and the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency.